power worth of stuff dying. Oh, how do I get... Oh, man, you got a Hydra Vine? How do I get an Ephemeral? I guess I can kill something, then get an Ephemeral. Okay, okay, I see what we're doing here. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Viego Z. This is going to be a another uh, viewer submitted deck that they wanted to see up in some higher ELO than what they were at. Um, so we're going to try this out. So we have um, a deck with like a lot of different combos in it. And it's going to be a, a good defensive mid-range deck that will have really, really powerful top end. So let's see, we have Darkwater Scourge is going to be kind of a key thing to have on round three. As you notice, we don't have anything to play on round one. In round two, we don't really have anything to play either because you don't really want to play Mass Mother on round two. And so that's looking at the deck list. That's the thing that I'm the, the most worried about is not having like anything to play around one or round two. But we should hopefully catch up pretty quickly thanks to Darkwater Scourge. We can have this round three plus Deathmark. That's a great combo to have on round three. Later on, we could have Darkwater Scourge plus Mass Mother. That's going to be very good. But then Deathmark will be able to be a good card with just our other um, ephemeral cards. We're gonna have Camarvor and Soldier and Zed both putting in uh, both putting in the ephemeral um, encroaching miss. We'll also have Tasty Faithful for a little bit more life steal. Shadow uh, Stalking Shadows will help uh, you know help us find like different cards and help us find like Darkwater Scourge, Mask Mother. Then we get into into the mid game if we got like our soldiers and you know like they're you know, we're playing some defense. We're going to try to slam Viego on five, uh, be able to have some stuff die, make some encroaching miss, all that kind of stuff. And then the top end, really powerful seven drops. We're going to have three Hydra Vines and two Rekindlers. So as long, like, this list looks like it's pretty vulnerable to fast aggro, but if you can stabilize, there's definitely a lot of power here. So it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to go play five games over in ranked with Viego Zed. Okay, we're playing against Viego Kindred. So they're going to be playing Freljord to be able to Frostbite stuff. Frostbiting cards works well with Kindred, how it like marks the weakest enemy. If you Frostbite something, it will turn into the weakest enemy. I'm going to keep the Mask Mother. I like having the Death Mark for round three, so if we find any of our three drops of like the Camivoran Soldier or Zed or... I guess Zed won't have the attack token, but... or the... Uh, Dark Water Scourge, any of those we would be able to death mark. Mark Beast. No attacks. I like it. You gotta be worried about those burst speed one mana blockers like Jury Rig. I may wait on that. Zed. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. They cannot hide. I right, kind of expecting frostbite here. Not gonna lie. We'll have twin disciplines plus three. Roll chance. Okay, so I gotta go Twin Disciplines plus three the other way. Plus zero plus three. I'm very ha happy they blocked the Living Shadow. take <clears throat> don't really need to take four we'll just have this thing die On my mark. Yeah, that's a good death mark
Diego time. Um. I will play my part. Well. So I can, yeah, I could sacri basically sacrifice Zed to have something die to get an encroaching miss and grow Viego, and then it's actually, you know, it's actually like eight power worth of stuff dying. Oh, how do I get, oh man, you got a Hydra Vine? How do I get an Ephemeral? I guess I can kill something, then get an Ephemeral. Okay, okay, I see what we're doing here. Let's go kill the, I could kill the Elusive. Make a 4-3 Fearsome Elusive. I kind of want to make a 5-5, five, five, though. Could have played the Stalking Shadows to look for, for something else, but I think this is perfectly reasonable. Man, do I need to kill the Hydravine, though? Kindred or Hydravine? Maybe Hydravine. Hydrovine gonna smack me for a lot of damage. Oh, they could, yeah, they could definitely be playing Day Who Endure. Good call, they probably are. Good call, they probably are. I need this encroaching mess to be dead. I don't know. Maybe I should take out the kindred. Yeah, so my plan is definitely glimpse beyond plus Hydra by this round. But I don't have room. First off. Alright, maybe no Hydravine. Alright, what does that mark? It marks that thing? They won't be slaying the unit with the mark. So it doesn't help Kindred level up. Oh, I should pay attention to your level up. Alright, 8 out of 20. You've been enjoying how flexible Auction is? Auction is quite flexible. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a cool little champ. It gets a lot of value for the two mana. Okay. Not exactly sure about all that. I've already marked something. I need other things to die. Yeah, you can die. I do kind of like the, the Zed's Shadow Shift, though. So I don't really want to just play... Like, so I could play the Hydravine, but I don't... Hmm. I want to continue protection, and I kind of want to keep this Mask Mother. I'm just going to do this. All 
Alright, so that's too bad. So I sh guess I should just level that up with the mask, you know, play that, then play Mask Mother and level that up. That's why I want to keep the Shadow Shifts available. Alright, so that's the th that was their third kindred. So that thing's gone. Let's play some defense. None of these things are like that scary and they just kinda take up their board. taking a lot of damage. Alright, Shadow Shift or Mask Mother? All right, that'll do. Those um, mask mothers were really impressive. They really were. They were really impressive. Seems like if our opponent doesn't kill us right away, we got a lot of like cool stuff for like the mid game. Yeah, poor Kindred. Kindred marked like four things and never got a slay. Alright, so now this is going to be a lot tougher, right? Because they are going to be aggressive and attacking and killing us. And can we stay alive? That is going to be the question. I like the Concussive Palm. I... Why do I like Concussive Palm? Maybe I don't like Concussive Palm. They just play like Sivir into... Maybe... Maybe I'm holding this thing. It's good against LeBlanc, but... Send all these back. I don't know. Mask. I don't know. Yeah, this death mark is going to be what our, our deck's all about. Alright, we found Scourge. Death mark. Then again, I don't really have anything to death mark. What am I going to death mark this 2 1? That doesn't sound that great. Yeah, I assume they'd pass there. Please, no Sivir. A thrashing Snapper. Alright, we will death mark a thrashing snapper. So I think if I attack with the Dark Water Scourge, they're gonna block and use the plus three plus one. 
And I would kind of just want to get Viego in play. Just pass also. Don't have bloody business. Just pass. Gross. I guess that does help their reputation and Sivir level up. Maybe that was a bad attack. Yeah, that was a bad attack. Alright, lesson learned. Of course, if um, Viego dies, we do have Rekindler. But it's not going to be easy for Viego to die. Perfect, Chemivore and Soldier. Eat up that Roiling Sands. Buff up Viego. Fall to pieces. Steady now. So I'm not blocking because they like pass priority there, because I think if I block then they get to like start using pump spells and stuff like that. Or if I just pass priority, sure I take two damage, but the Viego is safe. That thing dies at the end of round, we get the encroaching mist end of round. Won't be easy to level this up. I mean, it could. I basically, I just have to kill. Now, let's look back. Surrender to me. I have to kill one of my stuff. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This five's gonna level it up. Never mind. I thought I was gonna have to. I guess I wasn't counting the five. All right, they going wide. The are just the Viego's leveled up. We'll kill this merciless hunter around start. <laughs> and since something dies, man, this is just not. Oh wait, never mind. Viego or never mind. Viego stealing it. It's not the champion. It is me. Kato. I think you can put that Kato back in your hand. That's cool. Just go ahead. Just put it back in your hand. Yeah, you don't. You don't need that thing. All right, let's let it die. So it doesn't have vulnerable anymore. And also increases the health. Alright, so th these round start abilities happen left to right. So the Hydrovine happens first, and then this would steal that 4 3, but that 4 3 is gone now. Um, yeah, you can attack him too. Yeah, Viego Rekindler, Hydravine. So much power if you don't kill this deck. Look how ridiculous this is. This is absurd. Viego's pretty absurd. So the game's not over, right? Yeah, they're at one. Can they kill me with Kato plus... Like, they... This... We may lose this still, right? Like, if they have Kato plus, like, Ruin Runner or something, you know, like, or Sivir. 
Like, this is not over. I'm going to need to draw some cards. We're going to be using this Glimpse Beyond. Looking for another answer. Oh, I did have Lethal Twin, didn't I? I just passed, but... Yeah. Usually those kind of does have, like, work. Yeah. Okay. Sand and trouble. I'm sorry, I was talking... Yeah, I should have paid attention to that. <laughs> I probably did have Lethal with... Yeah, this could definitely be over. Okay, so we're going to need to... Does this get through Spell Shield? It probably does, right? That probably gets through Spell Shield. Yeah. Oh no, all four of those things died. All right, cool. Then we had the stun card, so we could stun Kato. All this so despair that. against spell shield still does damage to your nexus. So like, if I would despair something, it still do damage to my nexus. But I guess you know, Viego killed two things. Round start isn't bad. Viego is disgusting. <laughs> This is a good Viego deck of like a lot of power. Oh. Timo Heimer with some Ion Ionia to protect Timo. So I'm actually going to mulligan the Zen. So, like round three, we're going to play Soldier Death Mark because we don't have the attack token round three. If we had the attack token, I could keep it, but we don't have the attack token round three. Now we can go Scourge. And, you know, like, they're PNZ. You'd have to think that, like, they are going to have Mystic Shots and stuff like that to kill Zed pretty easily. Alone, we see things as they truly are. I need no weapon. Really hope they don't have Notify. Don't have Notify, don't have Retreat Return. Just work. Awesome. Oh, That's pretty big. Great deny draw against Will of Ionia. Wow, and they had the Will of Ionia. Man, it's just good deck building. Pass. Just five damage? Okay, we'll take it. If it was, you know, if they would have done more, I was going to have the Concussive Palm. If it would have been more. So we'll be looking for Mask Mother with the Stalking Shadows for the Mask Mother Dark Water Scourge combo. I guess I could have done that before attack in, but I thought it was a pretty good open attack, but I could have done this first. Let's get the Hydra Vine. And... Pass. Yeah. Could Glimpse be on this 3-3. Three, three. That doesn't seem necessary. William. This is probably the right play. I won't be streaming Monday, so um, I am going to be going out of town after today, so no stream tomorrow through Thursday. My next stream is going to be Friday, except for maybe Thursday night, but likely Friday will be my next stream after today. Yeah, I'll announce it on Discord, and yeah, I'll, pro yeah, I'll put on the announcement for YouTube as well. Going with the deny so they don't get the free three one. Shoot, shoot. That was 
Could just take more dark water scourges. Hope they don't have another Will of Ionia. They're still just passing. That's probably bad for me. Probably means wills and concussive palms. Like, palms aren't as bad. William. Do I go for lethal? I could go twin disciplines plus three plus zero on this thing. But they kept the other four mana available. Y'all like it? Y'all think I should go for it? It's always fun going for lethal because the upside is tremendous, but if they have another card that stops this, I'll be sad. They don't. Okay, got the win. We had some really timely like denies and stuff like that. Aurelia Azir. Did talk about how we can be uh, vulnerable to aggro decks that are running us over. We found death, the Darkwater Scourge. That's going to be important. Um, I guess I'm just keeping this. You know, like, probably, yeah. Hope they don't have Homecoming, right? And uh, hopefully Darkwater Scourge does some, does some work. So round three, going to be interesting. We have options. We don't do anything round one, round two, like usual. Round three here, we got some options. What are we thinking? Are we thinking Zed? I kind of think Zed. What's up, Dr. Warya? Without a sound. Yeah, that's true. They have all the they have all the retreat return type stuff. As far as trying scourge death mark, so that's probably not very reliable. That's a great point. Every blade, every beat in its place. Chemivoran Soldier. Deathmark's been looking really good for us in these games. Navari, formations. I'm just gonna let that happen. The enemy has uh. the soaring hills. Let them come. Our blades will greet them. I wanted them to spend less, you know, spend mana. <laughs> but. All right. Let's see what happens. Steady breathing. All right, so they are going to let let Zed level up. Let's see what they do. This is going to put some good pressure on them. Oh. 
follow close. All right, we get to keep the living shadow in play. The enemy has reached the soaring hills. Let them come. Our blades will greet them. We know that they're going to do this blade, this flawless duet thing. So now basically, like round six, I'm basically, you know, going to be playing this Scourge Deathmark and hoping the Scourge works out. And then, because then round seven, Hydrovine. What shall we play for your dance? Play us an anthem of Navori, or the verses you remember. I don't know, is it Aurelia? Who do I go? Do I go? I guess I go Aurelia. Yeah, we gotta go Aurelia, right? Follow close. Do you think they're going to nerf Viego is a question? And my answer is yes, I do. I think they will. I, I don't necessarily think it's going to be right away. But it is a pretty silly card with all the stuff it does. Hang on, uh, I Yeah, it's going to be longer than a week. It will, not be it will not be nerfed within a month of it coming out. But it will be nerfed, most likely. So should I play Hydrovine before attacking or open attack? I think we're supposed to open attack. But Hydrovine, you know, puts in like a 3-3 three, three and a 7-6. Should also be good at attacking. We play on. Focus. Focus. So this is just me completely guessing, of course, but I would guess if you're saying like when will they nerf Diego, my my complete guess would be six weeks from its release. That's that's my complete guess. Shurima ascend in sky, past and present. No, so Zed's ability just says summon an attacking shadow with my stats and keywords, so it, living shadows that are in play don't just suddenly get its stats and keywords. Hoping Greenglade Duo doesn't do 20 damage to us. That would be unfortunate. Hoping it doesn't do 20 damage. I was going to say I made recall a lot better by doing that.
but we're still doing okay. Alright, doesn't look like we're taking 20 damage. But pretty close. Man, a Viego? Alright, I guess we gotta play a Viego. I do this for her. For us. Arise. You must have so little. We're gonna level up this Viego. We dance to the drums of war, and all our hearts beat as one. I must become the leader they need. Onward forever. Only the worthy survive. All right, so it's gonna be six, ten. So ten, ten power stuff is definitely dying. Could see to fifteen. I hear her calling. We got it first. You missed a step. They have to block everything. Everything's lethal. Tradition. Turn aside. I will not be made. <clears throat> so I can't keep. Can't keep everything alive. Where are you going? Ooh, sending the Green Glade duo back. If they bounce Viego, we lose. They just have homecoming. Or not homecoming, but uh, Will Vionia. Homecoming, they would have to pick up something. Oh, they didn't block over here? Wait, I just realized they didn't block over there. They didn't block that? Alright. They chose death. And we got Tom Kench and Ash. I could see Tom Kench presenting a problem with us not really having removal too much. There is a Will of Ionia, so maybe I should keep that. Uh, because we don't have very much removal. All right, I can see this presenting a problem. So I should keep twin. We'll find another twin. We got lots of twins. This will be their their second time for the dogs to be um, at a doggo hotel. But it's gonna be. Last time it was only like for a day. Time's gonna be like three days. We see through all. All right, good looking start. That's a good looking start. I'm not mad at it though. I I really like Freljord. I really like these Freljord cards. Starless here is one of my favorite cards. So if we lose this, I'm not mad. I will play my part. Yep, it's a doggo hotel with the doggo spa. <laughs> no, it's it's labeled as a doggo resort. They have even like regular human beds and stuff for the doggos. And they're not they're not, you know, caged in anywhere. There there'll be other doggos to play with. Let's see. 
The order rewards its faith. It's kind of out in the country. Hmm. Just a whole bunch of mask mothers, huh? Need some cons. There we go. I need something to play. <laughs> That's a good emote. Um, make it a three-three fearsome. How many of these? I have three mask mothers in hand. So obviously they're gonna have frostbite stuff. Ooh. Just that one. Alright. Appetizers of plenty. A uh, plenty. They cannot hide. Bring me the calm of oh, the world. That's the strongest enemy. Man, that's such a good combo with that and Hydrovine. Or like that and uh Tom Kench. That's such a good combo. It looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. No, like the double, the double, just using a bunch of mass mothers on these elusives wasn't isn't gonna really work. They have they're gonna have a lot of frostbite cards in hand and everything. That wouldn't work too well. Yeah, let Tom Kenchi first and then recall. Yeah, I guess you're right. I should I should definitely let Tom Keat. Yeah, you're right. I should have waited on that recall. Then you get the the summon effect again.
There's Deathmark. Deathmark good. Yeah, I don't think they can do anything about Deathmark. I don't think. Let us peruse this establishment fair. I will play my part. Move with purpose. Walking is strange. All right, what's up, Joe Nike? Stay back. No, I'm not sending the ephemeral because I'm going to be death marking the ephemeral. But I mean, I guess I could be attacking with it. I'm going to wait till after they they eat up my. My guy, though. Oh, an auspicious season. That was my plan. Cool. Love getting Starlet Seer out of here. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to stop Deathmark. I don't think they can. Oh, I guess three sisters. Three sisters could stop it. Yeah, I guess they can three sisters. Yeah, Tom's effect is... Yeah, it's a, it's a strike. So three sisters is the card. The three sisters in tomb. Okay, they cannot three sisters in tomb anymore. So I don't think there's any other way to stop this from happening. Uh, problem. I won't have room now for stuff. Now that I play this Camelborn Soldier. Oh no! So, so okay, cool. They gave me the Hydrovine back. So then we don't get any of the miss. Yeah, so many mists down the drain. Really wish I didn't play this Kim of Warren Soldier. Den Mother. Den Mother, cool. They're gonna frostbite. And then I stun. Make them use another Frostbite card. I'll also just take it. Yeah, good on 10. 10's fine. Where are you at? You're at 10 right now. All right, level up, Diego. And now Hydrovine's on the left. It'll happen first. We get the miss, and then Diego happens. We steal the pack. We don't have room for the pack. Pack dies. And there we go. All right, 5-0 for Viego Zed. What is up? I will take back what is mine. All of it. GG's.
Man, this felt like a really powerful uh, Viego deck. And some of these cards honestly perform really well. Like Mask Mother performed amazingly with uh, with Viego. Even just later on of just you know only two two mana, just you know kill one of your larger things, make a you know make something even bigger. But just you know killing your own stuff definitely helps with Viego, especially with, like those encroaching mists and things like that. Um, that was awesome. And then like the life steal, really important. Dark Water Scourge, Faith Folk, those are really important. But then finally, Death Mark. That gave us a really good quality removal spell. We were killing all sorts of different champions with Death Mark and, and big threats with that. Um, yeah, Death Mark was really important as well. So overall, it all worked out well. Then Deny was good protection for Viego. And then our seven mana cards were insane. You know, Hydrovine is just completely insane. Getting that Encroaching Mist every single round is ridiculous. And then Rekindler, bringing back Viego. We had a game like that where we let Viego die and then bring back stronger, bigger Viego, <laughs> you know, that didn't have any damage on it. And then, you know, then we were able to Rekindle her again because we had both Rekindlers. So we were able to have two Viegos in play and two leveled up Viegos in play. Uh, you know, <laughs> round start, kill your Sivir and kill your Ruin Runner. It was just insane. So uh, there we go. That was um, that was pretty awesome. So uh, I'm still worried about like how you don't play anything the first two rounds of like dying right away. But that spell mana is important, right? You need that spell mana for like your glimpse beyond twin disciplines, death mark, stalking shadows. You got and then you know like these things later on. You got plenty of ways to use that spell mana. All right, but that's a 5-0. Can't complain too much. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to give this uh, version a try and let me know in the comments what you think, what you think of Viego Z like this, if you are impressed as well with, with the Dark Water Scourge, Death Mark, and all the other things about the deck. Love to see or love to hear how it goes for you. But that's going to be it here for Viego Z. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.